It's Hollywood Babylon. With your hosts, Kevin Smith and Ralph Garman. It is Saturday night in Hollywood, so let's babble the f*** on. I'm Kevin Smith. I'm Ralph Garman. I believe you had a birthday while we were gone, didn't you? I did, I did, yes. Thank you. I uh, I turned uh, 42 last week. As we all know, that's the answer to life, the universe, right. and ever that. Ah. Well, so we got you a little cake, and uh, don't just, sing the birthday song because we'll have to cut it out. It's very expensive. Yeah, we can't afford it. So <laughs> sing this, a variation. Here's a song: Birthday, birthday, fat boy, yay! There it is. Everyone, sing that song: Birthday, birthday, <laughs> fat boy, yay! On three. One, two, three. Birthday, <laughs> birthday, <laughs> fat boy, yay! There you go. Well done, sir. Happy Thank birthday. Thank you. It's time to look at all the news that's happened in the entertainment world over the past week, a segment we call the HBO Headlines. Samuel L. Jackson is watching the Olympics. You know how I know this? Because he won't stop f- tweeting about it. If you've been following him on Twitter at all, his tweets have been awesome. Let me read some of them for you. Okay, getting that mother Olympic f-ing fever. Go Team USA, was his first tweet as he sat down to watch. Who y'all got for that badminton gold? I'm hearing Malaysia might be bringing badminton noise. Is this a real account? This is really his account. This is verified. These are his actual tweets. South Korea has a blind archer. What the f***? (laughs) Next tweet. All right, who knows the rules in this handball shit? And my favorite one is the last one here. Told y'all, ladies weightlifting drama. Little babes picking up heavy shit. (laughs) That's uh, Samuel L. Jackson reporting from the Olympics this week. (laughs) Kim Kardashian, what are the odds? She's in the news. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Porn star Kim Kardashian's in the news. Kim announced this week that her uh, little half-sisters, Kendall and Kylie, are getting their own reality show. Uh, Kendall is 16, Kylie is 14. They're getting their own TV show. I mean, not for nothing, but how f***ing interesting is the life of a 14-year-old? Ah, ah, you would guess that. You would say that. I would, I would tell you, sir, that she did an interview with Seventeen Magazine. Okay. Which she's not even old enough to read. <laughs> First of all, here's what she told Seventeen Magazine. We go on a lot of adventures. Okay, like we what? do crazy stuff. Okay, like what? We will kidnap one of our friends. <laughs> or get a group together and go to Disneyland. Now I'm on board. Now that I know they're living those kind of lives. I gotta tell you, man, if that's the f- show at 14 years old, my 14 year old show would have been far more interesting, and all I was doing was jerking off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a lot, but. F- you could tune in. That's cheap to shoot. You know, no score or nothing. Just quietly. Me just like, like talking to it. Like, come fast. I love you. Shit like that. <laughs> While we're talking about X-rated films, Fred Willard lost his second job now that he's been arrested for no, misconduct. Come yeah. Come on, man. How old is Fred Willard? Fred Willard is 72. God damn it. Let him jerk off in a movie theater if he wants. He's and fucking here's the 72. Thing. He wasn't jerking off at Ice Age 4, okay? Yes, exactly. He was in the Tiki, for f- sake. It is a porno theater. What the f*** are you supposed to do in the Tiki? Somebody got to pull him aside, though, and have a conversation about, uh, Fred, there's this thing called the Internet. Well, he's 72. Maybe he doesn't understand. It would uh, change his life, dude, literally, to be like, if you open up this box, <laughs> you can jerk off to things you've never even imagined. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Fred's thing may be public masturbation. That's what I'm thinking. You know, I'm the opposite. I'm a guy. Air. I'm so ashamed of my dick. I don't even take it out in the bathroom. You yeah. know, I'm like I cover it up with four layers. <laughs> this guy's the opposite. He's like, <laughs> well, ideally in a theater like that, no one's really focusing on your what's going on with you. They're all watching the screen. They're watching oh, the bullshit! Action. I'd be there <laughs> just looking around, man. That's, that's why a, that's you're a, not welcome. Oh, that's a people watching place right there. And plus, you get to see, like, people in their style and shit. Like, think about... Their style? Yeah, yeah, man. Think about, like, how in terms of... 
You jerk off, you know one way to jerk off. Yeah. But like everyone must have a different way. It goes back to that, like, how do you know what your blue is my blue? You could literally watch like eight different styles of jerking off and be like, ooh, I'm gonna borrow a little of this. I never thought of a Dutch flip or something like that. <laughs> He the grabs Dutch this flip. way and under tugs. Yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking. I'm guessing they're all pretty much the same, Kevin. I don't think anyone's reinventing the wheel when it comes to jerking off. I don't know. I think like, if you're This guy does off. it with his knees somehow. I don't know how he does it, but it's hands-free action going on. Oh, that'd be amazing. Uh, here's someone who wants to entertain us. Lindsay Lohan's making a new movie called The Canyons. <laughs> oh, God, she's doing an Octomom-type porn. She has a nude scene in the film. This is a full-blown frontal nudity scene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hand check. Keep him above the table, sir, please, for those you're sitting next to. That was a shit ton of enthusiasm. Like, yeah. yeah. That was Fred Willard in the audience there for a second. <laughs> yeah. So in order to make herself more comfortable, she insisted the entire crew she was working with of ten men Stripped down to their underwear. I would be, it'd be a weird thing to be like, I want dudes to strip down their underwear because, like, if she's naked, what if a dude gets a boner and shit? And right there, you're like, ew. Yeah. I see his boner, and I'd be like, you told me to take my pants off. You all heard her. Did you ever think you'd hear these three words, Professor Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger has put up $20 million of his own money to start a think tank at USC here in Southern California. It's called the USC Schwarzenegger Institute for State and Global Policy. Starting in December, Professor Schwarzenegger will be uh, giving undergrads lectures on state and world politics. I mean, he was governor. Yeah, and a hell of a job he did, too. You're absolutely right. <laughs> uh, lesson one, uh, running a state into the f***ing ground. <laughs> Everyone, uh, open your textbooks to uh, f California. The first chapter. Uh, in the syllabus, you also see uh, laughing about f***ing over a state when you leave and go back to making movies. Uh, then uh, later in the course, we'll talk about impregnating mates. Uh, every week, we say goodbye to some people in show business who left us too soon, and we like to give them a little compliment on their lives and careers in the segment we call Tinseltown Steps. Tony Martin, a big singer and a star of Broadway musicals, passed away at the age of 98. He, this guy was a big, big star, and no one knows who he is today. I was Very just going to say, I don't know who that is. He was like Bing Crosby, Frank Sinatra, famous in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Uh, starred with uh, Judy Garland, Betty Grable, was married to Sid Charisse for, the, 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 for his whole life. So wait, when did she pass away? Uh, 2008. So four years he went without her. So he was 94 when she passed away. You think he was getting like a lot of young trim? He's like, you know how you keep a marriage going 60 years? Side pussy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before we say goodnight, folks, there is a musical question we like to ask at the end of each and every Hollywood Babylon. How big is Liam Neeson's cock? Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? Bane uses his urethra as a prison. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? He needs to lube up just to f your emotions. <laughs> Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? If anyone can ride it for a full eight seconds, they get a trophy belt buckle and a new pickup truck. <laughs> Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? It graduated a year ahead of him in high school. <laughs> Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? Angela Lansbury taps his knob three times and gives it a quarter turn to the left when she wants to go to the boom boom. I knew you would love that one. That's so obscure, man. That's a bed knobs and broomsticks joke. Oh, my hat's off to that guy. You're right. Cock, take us to the Isle of Nabumbu. <laughs> Three kids holding on to a giant dick. <laughs> Haven't we all at some point in the evening settled for a bag of crack? Yes. You are interested in DTF. I don't know what DTF is. 
you're interested. They're gonna guess it's out of habit because it doesn't itch a fidget and I'm switching my position to my wedding on my left butt cheek. Piss because the number stupid phone is gonna ring again and I wanna.